everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making warm cauliflower potato and garlic dip. This is actually a recipe request from Don Vegan who asked for something garlicky and warm. So here it is. Let's get started. First of all, for this recipe, you're going to need a blender and you'll also be using an oven to heat up the dip. So you'll need an oven proof dish. The first ingredient you'll add is half a cup of oats. Next, you'll be using half a cup of sunflower seeds. One cup of plant-based milk. Today I'm using soy milk, but you could use almond milk, rice milk, oat milk, whatever you like. Four tablespoons of lemon juice. Two to four tablespoons of chopped garlic, depending on how much you like your garlic. Today I'm using two tablespoons worth. One to two teaspoons of Celtic salt and quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. This is the first part of the recipe before you pulse some of the um, vegetables through and keep them a little bit chunky, keep that texture there for the final dip. So put your lid on your blender and um, blend this up for a good minute or two to make sure it's really creamy and that there's no chunks left in there from the sunflower seeds. Let's get it going. Okay, so that's been going for about a minute or so. A nice creamy consistency. Ready for the next ingredients. Now you'll be adding one and a half cups of steamed cauliflower, just loosely packed cups. Two and a half cups of steamed potato. And two cups of lightly packed spinach leaves, baby spinach leaves. You just want to pulse this through. You want to keep the texture of those vegetables in your dip. So just push your ingredients down, mix it around a bit so it'll pulse evenly. Okay. Get those ready. Mm. Mm. Just check that you don't have any really large pieces of vegetables stuck in the blender somewhere. Give it a bit of a mix through. That all looks really good. And put it into a, an oven proof dish and test. This will be good. Mm, yum, good, good, good. Okay, so you'll just pour this into an oven proof dish you can use a large or a, a few smaller ones. Up to you how many people you're serving. I'm just going to use the whole lot. So you'll want to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And as soon as your oven's at temperature, this will be going in for about 20 minutes. Okay, this has been baking for about 20 minutes and let's have a look. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. It's gone nice and brown on top, nice and hot. I'll get this onto a plate and do the taste test. Optional extras that you might like to add are nutritional yeast. And if you like spicy foods, some jalapeno peppers would also go well in this. Okay, so I've just got some rice crackers here and I'm going to try this. Mm, it smells delicious and I can feel the nice heat coming off it. So let's dip in. Give this a try. Oh, it's so creamy inside. Oh, smells good. Mmm, mmm, -hmm -hmm. tastes good. Oh, that's awesome. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, <laughs> sorry. Very, very good. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so, so you don't miss out on any extra recipes coming up. And please share with your friends. Enjoy the recipe. If you do want a low fat version of this, just substitute cannellini beans or white beans for the sunflower seeds. And enjoy. See you next recipe.